Good news for Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge users. Finally, we have Android 9 Pie Lineage OS 16 ROM for our devices. In this video, I'll show you how to install this ROM on your Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge. This ROM is still in beta. Build date is of March 4, 2019. How stable is this ROM or is this ROM good enough to be a daily driver? We'll find out in this video. Before you can start, you need to have a rooted phone with TWRP recovery installed. If you have not done that, click on this i button or find the video link in the description below. When your phone is rooted, you need to download Lineage OS ROM zip file. G apps. Here I choose the mini version. If you like to have digital well-being feature which has been introduced with Android Pie, then you need to choose the mini version or higher. However, if you want to have less Google apps with basic Google services running on your phone, then you can choose the lower versions. Then download Magisk to have root access. Copy these zip files into your phone's SD card. If you don't have a SD card, you can flash the files from a USB drive. I have an instruction video for that. Do check it out. If you ask me, I prefer flashing ROMs from my SD card. Links to all the files shown are in the description below. Backup all your apps and data. Then switch off your phone. Press and hold volume up, home and power key all at the same time to boot into recovery mode. In TWP recovery, click on wipe, format data, type yes to erase internal storage. Then go to advanced wipe, select Dalvik cache and cache, then swipe to wipe. Now go to install, choose the ROM file. Add more zip and select G apps, then swipe to flash. The installation will take few minutes. Once it is done, click on reboot system. Your phone will boot on Lineage OS. Let's finish the setup process. Turn off your phone and go to recovery mode again to flash magic script file to gain root access. After you restart your phone, you should see Magis cap. Now let's test root access. As you can see, root is working just fine. As I said, this build is in beta phase, so it has few bugs which I have found, but fortunately they are not deal breakers. When you launch Magis Manager app, it tells you to update the app to your newer version. But if you update, it keeps crashing because the latest version is not supported in this ROM yet. The simple solution is to not update. There is no specific need that you need to update this app anyways. Bug number 2. Pixel launcher that comes with the ROM also keeps crashing. You can use any other launcher, you'll be just fine. Bug number 3. Menu button is not displayed on certain apps like Titanium Backup. To fix this problem, we have a workaround. You need to go to settings, buttons and assign long press recent app action to open menu.
Now let's talk about the good things in Lineage OS ROM. I feel color calibration done by Samsung on most of their phone displays is bit warm. Whites don't look purely white. No matter what changes you make in RGB settings, you cannot get the result right. On Lineage OS ROMs, colors look very natural. The whites are really white when compared to Samsung ROMs. Even though SA devices have been given Android Pie update, there is no digital well-being feature. If you like well-being, Lineage OS is the way to go. You will also get common advantages that come with Lineage OS ROMs. These ROMs are lightweight, so they are very snappy with less lag. Battery performance is also slightly better compared to Samsung ROMs. Before I end this video, I can tell you guys there are no major bugs in this ROM that can trouble you in daily usage. If you have any queries, let me know in the comments, I will be happy to answer them. I will see you in the next video. Until next time, take care.